I love how Elvis Rodriguez shows that he understands distance and range. Oftentimes, people think that when you say a guy is a defensive fighter, that he has to be moving on the perimeter of the ring and running. That's not the case with Rodriguez. He's right in the wheelhouse of Okoth, but he's just not allowing Okoth to get any shots off right now. He just leans back, ducks, counters, does what he has to do. I love the range and the timing from Elvis Rodriguez. He has a good sense of that imaginary line, that threshold. There's the lead right hook I was talking about. A lot of times you have southpaws that have a really good backhand, but don't have a right hook to go along with it. Manny Pacquiao was one of those guys that had both of them. He had a mean right hook and also a straight left hand. There's a right hand that he dug in, took that angle, and landed to the body. He did take that angle test, but one thing that he did do, he squared up when he took that angle. He's off balance when he takes that angle. So what you do, you sit and you wait, you see him come down to the body, you line him up for a right hand. Koth and Rodriguez. Rodriguez, Elvis Rodriguez, who grew up in the DR, was a baseball player growing up. He had a conversation with us a few weeks ago where he said, hey, listen, I was the guy playing baseball who would get into fights and got kicked out. So he turned to boxing when he was 11 years old. And he's been going nonstop from the DR, but he's been training and living out in L.A. And Dre, he talked about that being really what's toughest for him is that he's got to make that change, the culture shock, the language barrier, everything being different. And he says it's uncomfortable, but you get the sense He's comfortable with being uncomfortable. He understands what it takes to put in the work to make the tough decisions to try to get to the next level and getting in his training and sparring at wild card no, 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 is no. what he's stop, chosen. Stop. And so many young fighters on the way up, they don't understand that. They want the best of both worlds. They want to be as comfortable as possible, but still go in and perform and, you know, make the money and still have, you know, all the buzz about them. But what I love about Rodriguez is, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So. When you sit and talk with him, you not only hear about, you know, his boxing IQ and what he understands about, you know, his fight game, but you you, you hear a young man who's taking the, the sport of boxing very, very seriously. He understands the sacrifices and will, he's willing to make them, and they're going to pay off. Another thing that can pay off for Rodriguez is, a, is an uppercut, either right or left uppercut. Well, Koth is leaning forward over that front knee, and every now and then he'll, he'll act like he's going to commit, and he doesn't. He'll just squat right down in front of, of Rodriguez, lift him up with the uppercut. Yeah. Combination. The purpose for a Dennis Okoth against an Elvis Rodriguez, it's an incremental step up. He's not supposed to beat Rodriguez, but he's a tough fighter. He's, he'll, he'll throw punches, he'll, you know, big shots like that. And if the young fighter is not careful, if he's not on point, Okoth can give him some trouble. That's how you measure where a young fighter is in his career. So that's the purpose of a fighter like Dennis Okoth. He's not here to necessarily win, though he can. He's here to test the young fighter to see where the young fighter is at. Doubled up that right hand hook and then the uppercut moments ago. Oh, and he scores the knockdown with a straight left hand behind the jab. What a shot.